I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. Are you a systems administrator, systems engineer, and you have to take care of or configure a brand new Dell PowerEdge, or maybe an existing one, but you're wiping it clean and you want a new operating system on it. If that operating system is Windows 2019 server, you may encounter a kind of a brick wall from everything from how exactly to install it, uh, how to create the bootable USB. Well, I'll walk you through how to do that in this one. So watch my video and save yourself a lot of headache. Uh, this video is compiled over several hours of fussing, but you can get it done in about 10 minutes. Okay, tune right in and enjoy. Okay. This may be what you're experiencing trying to install Windows 2019 server. You go ahead and you create your flash drive uh, using the ISO that you can download from Microsoft's website. Um, you select your EFI, well you go with the default UEFI boot option, you see your flash drive like I did. You select it, everything looks like it's loading, everything looks hunky dory. And then it bombs out. And then you might end up going down a spiral of trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. Well, let's go through and uh, get this straightened out now. So in this case, I'm uh, rebooted into Boot Manager. And uh, once that goes ahead and loads, I'm going to go down to Launch System Setup, which is for BIOS. I'll select System BIOS. And I'm going to go down to Boot Settings. These are the settings you want. UEFI. Um, everything here the way you see it. That's what you want. Okay, and as long as that is, is all set up, the next step is going to be to create the image, the flash drive. Okay, so um, go to your browser uh, and uh, search for Windows 2019 Server ISO. Uh, scroll down until you find the Microsoft website. Don't go to any other website. Download the 64-bit edition. It's a 5.4 gigabyte or 5.3 gigabyte ISO image. Uh, that'll download according to your internet speed. Once that's done, you want to go ahead and launch Rufus. You can It's freeware utility, and that lets you burn an ISO onto a USB drive. Um, now you want to go ahead and where you see the select box, click on that. And in your download folder, select that 5.3 gigabyte ISO image click open and once that's selected go ahead and plug in your USB flash drive or jump drive that you're going to be using okay you just see I plugged mine in and you want NTFS and 4096 bytes now you might be checking around different options but the partition scheme is GPT now in poking around with partition schemes it might change to FAT32 if that's the case change it back to NTFS the FAT32 will bomb out so you're going to go ahead and go with NTFS and then click OK I'm sorry that you can't see it it's a funny way that this formatted or screen recorded it was done on Windows let me do say that much um, Okay, and click OK. It's going to delete everything on that stick, so just make sure it's one that has nothing important for data. And it'll go ahead and partition uh, the boot drive, format it, and uh, go through the different tasks. And when it's done, uh, now you can go ahead and unmount the jump drive from your Windows computer and pop it into any of the USB 3.0 ports on your PowerEdge. 
those will be the ones with the blue that you can see or it'll say SS on it for super speed but it's just USB 3.0 okay uh, after this it'll be time to boot up the uh, power edge using that that jump drive okay power on your Dell power edge and um, you'll see the initial screen here and in a moment uh, go ahead and press F11 for the boot manager okay and uh, let it do its initial initialization and then go down to the one shot UEFI boot menu you'll connect to your flash drive that you'll see listed there and at this point the response you should get will be the one you originally sought for it'll be absolutely golden and it's loading at this point you'll know it's the your Windows uh, server is downloading wonderful sight to see go ahead uh, you're not out of the woods yet but go ahead and click on next okay and then click install now and go with the uh, standard evaluation desktop experience you'll want that if you're expecting a desktop on your uh, on your uh, 2019 server it's still a server but it has the desktop as well okay I hit enter on that or next I should say uh, go ahead and uh, accept the licensing terms and click next and go for custom install all those partitions are going to need to be removed you'll see what I want to try formatting without doing that and it just bombs out it just won't work you see it doesn't even enable format click on new apply it couldn't create the new partition it just won't work you got to remove all of those partitions and don't worry about losing any kind of critical information it'll everything will get built up properly and now at this point clicking new applying it it will create the partitions It does take a moment, so don't worry about that. I sped it up, but it could take about a minute. Now you see the partitions in there. You're golden. You can move to the next step. And at this point, it's just now babysitting while Windows gets installed. And I'll let it get to about 1% on the installation and then I'll uh, skip towards the end. Okay, and you see it's at 92% now complete it's nearing the end of that initial phase so probably be about uh, I believe two reboots that'll happen after that and you'll end up at the end booting up to a login screen which is exactly what you want to see
okay getting ready for um, to bring up Windows now that it has installed the operating system and on the uh, second reboot it's coming up back up loading windows and and there you have it okay i put in your initial uh administrator password And this is the local admin account once that's done well there you have it you're good you're exactly where you want to be and now it's it's simply a, some post installation tasks that your systems administrator will perform well there you go you saved yourself some time it's all done and the best thing is you look good right isn't that part of Technologist on the Go to help you look good? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please give me a like and subscribe to see more content like this. And uh, until next time, bye-bye. But I do want to point out, as always, if you have your own channel, I will subscribe to your channel as well. And watch your content and leave likes so that we are helping each other out, right? As good neighbors, too. I grow my channel and you grow yours. Win-win. Until next time then, bye-bye.